Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. SpaceX, with Federal Aviation Administration oversight, is leading the investigation of what caused the June 28 mishap shortly after the company's Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon cargo spacecraft launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. The flight was SpaceX's seventh contracted resupply mission to the International Space Station. Although important supplies and cargo were lost aboard the Dragon, the station crew has sufficient supplies into the fall. Work is progressing on a new crew access tower at Cape Canaveral's Space Launch Complex 41, with the metal segments that will make up the 200-foot-tall structure taking shape nearby. The access tower will be used by astronauts to board Boeing's CST-100 spacecraft. The work by Boeing and United Launch Alliance is critical to preparing the launch site for a flight test to certify systems for operational missions to the International Space Station for NASA's commercial crew program. NASA's New Horizons spacecraft has received a final all-clear as it speeds ever closer to Pluto for a historic July 14th flyby of Pluto and its moons. After seven weeks of detailed searches for dust clouds, rings, and other potential hazards, NASA's New Horizons team has decided to remain on its original path through the Pluto system. This avoids the need for a late course correction to detour around any orbiting debris that could threaten the spacecraft. Because New Horizons is traveling at such a high rate of speed, 30,800 miles per hour, a particle as small as a grain of rice could be lethal. Astronaut artifacts line the walls of a new permanent memorial called Forever Remembered at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex in Florida. NASA and astronaut families collaborated on the memorial designed to honor the crews lost on missions STS-51L and STS-107, pay tribute to the Space Shuttle's Challenger and Columbia, and emphasize the importance of learning from the past. The memorial contains the largest collection of personal items of both flight crews and includes recovered hardware from both shuttles, never before displayed for the public. During the 2015 NASA Headquarters Health and Safety Fair on June 30th, NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden presented trophies to winners of the agency's internal NASA Moves Fitness Challenge. The fair also featured a range of health, safety, fitness, and wellness activities and demonstrations. In conjunction with the annual Essence Festival in New Orleans, Stennis Space Center kicked off NASA Week on June 30th with activities to help celebrate space exploration. NASA astronaut Stephanie Wilson was on hand to meet and talk with attendees who also learned about NASA's journey to Mars, work being done for the Earth, off the Earth, aboard the International Space Station, and more. And that's what's up this week in NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov twan.